Welcome to the Sentia Mobile Warful Microservice for Docker quick start video. Have you ever wondered which devices are using your website or application? Maybe you want to deliver specific content to an Android or iPhone customer based upon the device's capabilities. Or target advertisements directly to a device type. These are the type of use cases where device detection can solve your problems. Sentia Mobile's Warful is the leader in device detection and has the largest device library in the world. With Warful Microservice for Docker, we have made it easy to deploy device detection on your server infrastructure, no matter where it is around the world. In this video, we will demonstrate how to deploy Warful Microservice for Docker in your environment and how to use device detection using your own private instance of Warful. For the purposes of this video, we assume that you are already familiar with Docker and have a basic understanding of device detection and its use cases. If you need more help with Docker, there are plenty of tutorials online, so we won't be covering those concepts here. Let's get started in the Sentia Mobile Account Vault. You will need to log into your account through the Login button in the upper right. In your account, you should see a license for Warful Microservice for Docker. Click on View Account. Here you will find the Getting Started Guide and some other key pieces of it documentation and support. On the left you will see Capabilities. These are the Warful capabilities for which you have contracted. A capability is a property of a device, like is it a smartphone, what is the screen resolution, and what is the version of the operating system. You will also see information about how to deploy the Docker container and language-specific client API libraries. So let's launch the Docker container. Log in to Sentia Mobile's Docker registry. You can use the code provided in the Getting Started Guide and use your credentials for your Sentia Mobile account. Once you have succeeded to log in, use the code provided to download, deploy, and start the Warful Microservice HTTP server. Some extra parameters you might want to consider. The cache size. Caching can significantly improve performance of Warful during the device matching process. Also enter the number of processor cores you'll be running. You can also specify error logging and where to store the error logs. Once your server is up and running, it will expose a series of endpoints that are used by local APIs to communicate to the server. Test to see that the HTTP server is running with a curl statement. It looks like we're ready. The service is now listening on port 8080. Paste this command and put your IP address in and put download at the end. And here is a list of supported API clients for your instance. Choose the one that works best in your environment. I'm going to choose PHP. Download the PHP library into a folder on your system. Assuming that you already have PHP with a composer installed on your system, we can easily create a command line application that, given a user agent string, will return a set of properties for that user agent. The package we downloaded contains a set of examples that illustrate the use of the API for the language we've chosen. In the case of PHP, you can look into the examples directory, examples slash cli.php specifically, and you'll find just what you need. Device information is queried from a middle layer PHP API, which in turn utilizes a REST API that contacts the Warful microservice. Let's look into the code. The only thing I need to do is put in the IP address and port of our Warful microservice for Docker instance. You can also put in a line here that will make it a little easier to run specific user agents from the command line. One of the advantages of the API client is that a fair amount of local caching will happen on the client. This is what enables the system to perform tens of thousands of device detections per second. We will run the program from the command line in this example. First, we'll put in a user agent that refers to the Pixel 2 XL. Press enter and bam, correctly detected. Let's try another older iPhone. I'll copy in the user agent and paste. Press enter and booyah, there it is, correctly detected. Let's try another one. 
This is an uncommon Vivo device. There it is, detected. And one more. Here is a user agent from an app. We can provide app web view information. Used on the command line or as part of a larger application, Warful Microservice for Docker does all the hard work for you no matter where it is in the world. All you have to do is plug it in. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and remember if you get stuck there is more documentation on the Docker container on our product page, our website centrumobile.com or reach out to us via email at support at centrumobile.com. Thank you.